Do you ever feel that since you don't actually have a Mac, you're missing out on some of the cool features that some of the Macs have with iPhones or possibly Android with Windows? So if you're like me and you utilize an iPhone along with a Windows machine, I'm gonna show you some cool features we can now take advantage of. We'll be able to send and receive text messages from your PC using your cell phone. You'll be able to transfer any file between your PC and your phone. You can also receive and manage phone notifications on your PC, which is pretty cool. And you'll also be able to make and receive voice calls from your PC through your cell phone or iPhone. And lastly, you'll be able to see your phone gallery on your big screen. Now I'll show you how to actually get this done on your machine. We're going to go ahead and start off with going to a link that I'll set up for you in the description. The tool is called Intel Unison. And odds are, if you go to the Microsoft Store yourself, you may not be able to actually find the tool just by searching it. So I'll show you here. If you search for Intel Unison, you'll see that it does not pop up. Now, there's more than likely some models of machines that are newer that will possibly be able to pop right up after we search for Intel Unison. And that may be okay for you, but if you're like many other people with just regular, let's say a few month old to a few years old machine, you'll be able to use the link here and we'll start off by clicking here and get in the store app. And we'll hit open. And now it asks, do we want to go ahead and install it and get it? We'll go ahead and click on get and that's going to go ahead and download. And it's going to go ahead here and install and it's already done, which is great. And we'll go ahead and open the app. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and accept and continue. We can decide if you want to share crash data and statistics. We'll hit don't allow. And now it's saying that we are ready to get the phone app here. We can also utilize the app store on the iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now this is my iPhone here. We're going to go ahead and tap on the app store. And then in here, we're going to search for Intel Unison. We're going to go down here to Intel Unison right here. And we're going to tap on get. And we're going to go ahead and confirm the install and use face ID here. I'm more than likely by double clicking the power button on the right. And now that it is complete, we're going to go ahead and tab on open. And then here we're going to hit accept and continue. We're going to go ahead and tap on let's go. It's asking to utilize your contacts or access them. We'll go ahead and tap OK. Now that we've given all the permission that we need, we're going to go ahead here and scan this QR code using the phone. So we'll go ahead and tap here on scan QR code. And we'll say, let's allow it to use a camera. And we confirm that it's the correct code on the screen. Hit confirm. That way you don't connect to another device that you're not supposed to be connecting to. And it looks like we are good to go. So we can actually just tap, let's get started on the phone. And we are now connected and ready to roll. So here we can try to take a look at some photos. It's perfect. There's actually photos popping right up on the screen. We can go back to the main screen and see the battery life on our phone. You can easily transfer files using this as well. We can put a file here and have it appear right on the phone. And we're going to go ahead and allow our computer to receive notifications from the cell phone, which is awesome. And we can go here and test out the text messaging as well. And here it's telling us to go to Bluetooth settings and to select your computer name and to click show notifications. They're all set. We'll click on approved on the computer here. And here we can make sure that Intel Unison has access to what we need to. It looks like it's all good to go here. And over here we can go to notifications. You'll notice that you can see all the notifications popping up on your phone right here, which is pretty awesome. 
You can expand additional notifications as well down below. It's pretty handy. And then finally here, we can go to make a call. We'll just type in the local weather station. If you want to believe that there still is one. And a new window pops up here. And if I look down at my phone, see that a call is about to start and it's using my computer as the Bluetooth headset and now it's already started. So I can actually hear the call and talk to the person on the other side. We can go ahead and hang up right here. We're all set. And it seems that the Intel Unison app should be running in the bottom right with the clock. So be aware of that. It looks like the same little logo that you see here with the three boxes. And as long as it's running by the clock, then you're good to go. And then the same thing goes for on your cell phone. You most likely have to run it just to have it running in the background. It seems to be running for a while after you run it for the first time. Okay, so here, messages loaded up. It took a little bit of time, but then it must be the first time because it's grabbing the contacts. When you click this little pencil, you can actually start typing and seeing a whole list of people's names. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a person to test with here. I'm just gonna type it test on the computer, and then it should go ahead and send that test using the phone. And then it says it's already been sent. And if we look at the cell phone, looks like the text went. And we'll see if we can get a reply back. And it looks like it came in, came in on the phone, pops up right on the computer. So I hope this helps and hopefully you can play around and utilize some of these features using a Windows machine plus an iPhone. Let me know if you have issues with it or if it works out well for you in the comments. I'll be testing it out over the next few weeks. Please like and subscribe, turn on notifications and share this with your friends and colleagues. Thanks.